Hey folks, welcome to 30 in 5. I'm Mike North here on 560WIND.com every single day, Monday through Friday. Enjoy our wonderful sponsors and enjoy what you know in five minutes takes everybody else 30 minutes to find out. Anthony Weiner, are you kidding me? He decides to endorse a Republican. And what happens? The Republican wins in a district that's Democratic that's won since 1920. You can't deny this is devastating to the Obama administration that a seat, a seat that has been Democratic for almost 100 years went Republican. So they got to figure out what they're going to do. Also, bad news, 77 percent, okay, 77 percent of the Jewish people in this country do not like the way that Obama is handling the Israeli situation and all the situations that have to do with Israel. But this is even more telling. 9% inside Israel support Obama. It's the lowest any president's ever been. And if you don't have the Jewish vote, and if you don't have the independent vote, and if you don't have the women over 40 vote, and you're giving up seats that were 100 years as Democratic, it's time for everybody, including Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who is a complete nitwit as the head of the Democratic. I don't know how she got the job. She should be a cocktail waitress somewhere because she doesn't have what it takes to deliver the message. So you know what? It's incumbent on President Obama, who's running around the country today as the most unpopular president, like everybody wants to see him, and it's really flying under the radar. On top of that, Solyndra, the $500 plus million dollar uh, solar green initiative, went bankrupt. FBI agents have raided that company there was white house influence to give a brand new company this much money it is gone and joe biden is now it's being rumored the vice president wanted this pushed through before he made a speech they actually are playing with 500 million dollars so he could impress somebody on the day he made a speech so they pushed it through they went bankrupt about a year later and now the fbi is involved and the white house is being implicated in some way shape or form that is being alleged uh by the way kimberly williams paisley let's get to entertainment because you know what entertainment's what makes people forget kimberly williams paisley is a young lady that i made a movie with that's right called eden court uh she is 40 years old today she was the young lady who was in father of the bride with steve martin and diane keaton now, do you think she knew where her career okay, was we'll heading remember, when she made a small independent film and Mike North's one of the guys that's playing in it? I have about five minutes of on-camera stuff, and it's still on the shelf. What can I tell you? Also, this is very disturbing to me, ladies and gentlemen. And whenever I say ladies and gentlemen, you know what to do. It's the old drinking game, but make sure it's Starbucks. The Bears are seven-point dogs. Now, that was before we find out today that Brian Urlacher's had to leave the team. And he's going out to Arizona for undisclosed reasons, even though in the Tribune it said it's undisclosed reasons. But then they brought up that the mother isn't feeling well. I guess somebody done screwed up. So we'll find out more about that. Ozzie Guillen looks like he may be on his way out. I won't believe it till I see it. Maybe they'll both come back next year, but it doesn't look good. The team has stopped playing for him if you watched last night's game. Justin Verlander was the winner with uh, 23 wins now. Five and oh, and Mariano Rivera gets his 600th save at the ripe young age of 41 or 42. Who knows? He might be 50. Uh, he might be 50 years old today. Also, don't forget, don't forget the weather outside is frightful right now. A little drizzle coming down. Bring an umbrella. I was just driving through, and let me just say this to everybody out there there's, there's three people I want a piece of today, okay. Number one, all right, the bicycle riders, the two bicycle riders that kept pedaling in front of me when I had somewhere to go. I am so happy it's raining. I am so happy it's raining because they're getting drenched, okay? And number two, you know what? What's the use of even complaining? Drivers can't drive in this weather. We know that. I, I mean, today was unbelievable. I left to go somewhere. It usually takes me 45 minutes. I was in the car for an hour and 20 minutes. So, hey, drive carefully, but don't be a nerd. Get it together. I mean, this has been the Mike North 30 in 5 here on 560WIND.com. I'm Mike North for the Village of Roosevelt. From the ninth largest convention center to restaurants to theaters, sports venues, and hotels. Five minutes from O'Hare, you got it all here. Rosemont, you can't miss it.